If someone is experiencing penile pain specifically, one should always first check with their primary care physician or urologist to rule out common causes of penile pain such as infection, such as a urinary tract infection or an STI. If after consulting with your PCP or urologist, no obvious reason for your penile pain has been detected, it's probably time to visit your pelvic floor physical therapist. So the pelvic floor is made up of muscles, nerves, and vascular structures and ligaments. So we can think of the pelvic floor muscles in two groups. We have the superficial pelvic floor muscles, or also called the urogenital diaphragm, and the deeper pelvic floor muscles, which are often referred to as the levator ani muscle group. The muscles that we are particularly interested when discussing penile pain are the superficial muscles of the pelvic floor, or the urogenital diaphragm. The urogenital diaphragm is made up primarily of three muscles, the bulbospongiosis, the ischiocavernosis, and the transverse perineum. Now, unlike the levator ani muscles in the deeper pelvic floor, the levator ani muscles are more responsible for urinary and bowel functioning. The superficial pelvic floor muscles, or the urogenital diaphragm, are more responsible for sexual functioning. So more specifically, the ischiocavernosis has to contract in order to aid the ability to get an erection as well as maintain an erection. The bulbospongiosis has to rapidly contract during ejaculation to push the ejaculate out. So when there is dysfunction within any either of these muscles, either the ischiocavernosis or bulbospongiosis, so whether that is increased tension, increased tone, or just tightness within those muscles, they can refer pain to the genitals, specifically the penis and the scrotum. If there are myofascial trigger points in either one of these muscles, they too can refer pain to the penis. This is one of the more common reasons we uh, find for folks that are suffering from penile pain. A myofascial trigger point is a taut band within the muscle that is exquisitely tender to compression, so it can cause local pain as well as referred pain. That's why when we have trigger points in the ischiocavernosis or bulbospongiosis, it can refer pain to the penis. One of the telltale signs that the muscles of the urodental diaphragm are causing the penile pain is if the person reports increased penile pain after sexual functioning particularly post-ejaculation, because during ejaculation, these muscles must contract, and if there are active trigger points within those muscles, it, ejaculation will activate those trigger points, therefore increasing the penile pain. So another cause of penile pain is due to a neuralgia, and a neuralgia is just pain coming from a peripheral nerve. So there are two nerves that supply the penis. One is the primary nerve. It, it supplies most of the sensation of the penis, and that is the pudendal nerve, specifically the dorsal branch or penile branch of the pudendal nerve. The secondary nerve that supplies the penis is the genital femoral nerve. So going back to the pudendal nerve, the dorsal branch or penile branch travels up the underside of the penis and terminates or ends at the tip of the penis. So when this nerve is aggravated or irritated, causing a neuralgia, it can cause burning, shooting, stabbing, and or lancinating pain in the shaft of the penis or the tip of the penis. So when this nerve is aggravated, many men will report burning, shooting, stabbing pain at the tip of the penis. So this nerve can become aggravated in a variety of ways. Uh, the surrounding musculature that we spoke about before, if they are too tight, and again, the dorsal branch uh, of the pudendal nerve travels in between the ischiocavernosis and bulbospongiosis. So if those muscles are too tight, it can cause compression of that dorsal branch, therefore creating a neuralgia. In addition, nerves that are irritated 
don't like to be overstretched. So if this nerve was overstretched with excessive masturbation or some sort of lengthening, over lengthening of the pel of the penis, as in with joking, that nerve can become irritated. So how to distinguish between whether the it's either muscle causing the penile pain or nerve causing the penile pain can be identified by a pelvic floor physical therapist in conjunction with report of symptoms from the patient. So if the pain increases post ejaculation and is more of a deep ache or a bruise sensation, that likely is due to more muscular dysfunction. If the person reports increased penile pain during erection, that very well could be due to the nerve because during an erection, the dorsal branch of the pudendal nerve is stretched and when nerves are irritated, they don't like to be stretched. So therefore, they can create more pain actually during an erection. So in summary, if you are experiencing penile pain, be sure to visit your primary care physician or urologist to rule out things like infection. If no obvious reason for your penile pain has been identified, visit your pelvic floor physical therapist because they should be, be able to identify if there is a muscular or nerve cause of your penile pain. And a pelvic floor physical therapist who is experienced in treating these types of symptoms should be able to help you through a treatment plan uh, it's, as it's, uh, physical therapy is an important component of a interdisciplinary treatment plan for such things as penile pain.